welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a really nice little pattern for sea bass. It's based on a EP fly and it uses our silver scales prey fish fiber which is very similar to EP fiber. Now you see it's got quite a narrow profile with a flat sort of highish head I give it a little bit of movement in the water it's very transparent you see my finger through the material it uses very little material so it's very light and easy to cast just a tiny amount of angel hair in there not too much flash and the head is made from densely stacked prey fish fibre which I'll show you as we go along how to do that. Okay, very one of my very most effective flies for sea bass. They love this pattern. Um, you see it's quite long and slender which I found is a profile that bass seem to prefer especially early season. They seem to be hunting whether it's it's my local fish stocks but they seem to be hunting quite long slender profile bait fish possibly smelt that sort of thing and uh, it works very well so let's show you how to tie it so to tie the fly you'll need some sakuma 10 stainless steel saltwater hooks in 1 0. You'll need some of our prey fish fiber. I've got white and bait fish blue. A small amount of Saibe saltwater angel hair. Some 6 mil silver scales eyes. And what thread am I using? Can't find the bobbin now. There it is. Some Vivas 140 in white. And I'll be attaching the eyes with some Solaris Flex. I find Solaris Flex is very, very good for attaching eyes. And they stay on very well with it. Okay, so I'm just going to. Put a hook right, in the you'll see that the Sukuma 410 stainless has got quite a short shank, a nice wide gape, with a very, very sharp, extremely sharp, beaked point. And I have found in tests that these hooks, the hot, that you get a higher hook up ratio with them than most other patterns of hook. Okay, so I'm going to lay down thread base and I go almost all the way down to where the bend of the hook starts okay so okay now it's easy to over overdo it with prey fish fiber you really, really, really do not need a lot of fibre. Less is definitely more with this. So I'm just going to take quite a thin section, about so much. Cut that off. Okay. And I'm just going to quickly blend in some angel hair to this piece of fibre. If you look on the channel, you'll find there's a video on there showing you how to do this. So I won't repeat it here. Just go and have a quick look at that video. It's very easy. Just strip it out on the table very thinly. Lay the angel hair over the top. Roll it up. And then if there isn't quite enough, do it again. 
So I'm just okay, going to do that. So I've blended in some angel hair. You see it just catching the light there. Okay. So this is going to be the tail section of the fly. You don't want it too long. Taper in it. About, I don't know, two and a half times the length of the hook perhaps. Like so. And then I'm just going to fold it over so I've got another piece about the same length. Put a little bit of taper in that as well. Okay, now we've got about the right length for what we need. Hold it back. And that's going to be our part of our tail section. Okay, so next thing to do, I'm just going to take a piece of baked fish blue, not too much, just a very, very thin piece, just to lay over the top. I'm not going to put any flash in this piece, I'm just going to lay it over the top, like so. Just tie it in with a few turns, invert the hook, take a thin piece, the same of white. And do the same again. So, okay, split it around the hook, and then I'm going to cut, cut these bits off short, the top and the bottom bit that's left, about so much, okay, and then I'm going to fold those back. tie it in, like so. Okay, add a little bit of glue. The security. And move your thread forward onto the next section. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to continue tying in some shorter pieces of Prey fish fibre, just going to give that a quick comb just to blend those pieces in together. Okay, so what you do is you take a slightly thicker piece this time of both the white and the blue. because we want the head to be slightly thicker or denser than the tail which helps to retain just a little bit of water because prey fish fibre is very hydrophobic it really sheds the water well so we want the tail of the fly to shed the water and the head to retain a little so we're just going to make the head a little bit denser so we're just going to take short sections of each colour and we're going to tie them in. Now when you tie the these pieces in keep the thread on top of itself and don't make too many wraps because we're going to stack it like almost like we're stacking deer hair okay and that helps us to to form the denser head. Okay, so just tie it, keep the thread wraps on top of themselves, and then what we're going to do is fold each of these short sections back. Keeping them on top of themselves each time. Like that. 
Okay. Now I'm going to do another section and then I'm going to speed the video up so that you're just not sat there watching me tie these pieces in. So that's on top of itself. Short sections of material. That. and then fold them back okay like so right I'm going to carry on tying those in and uh, I'll see you in a minute right so I've continued as I said stacking material in I'm just about to put the last tie in for the nose of the fly. Just another short section. Like so. And for the last time, fold it back. tie it down. Okay, I'm just going to add some glue to the thread. It's another top tip. Apply the glue to your thread. That gives you a nice secure wrap. Okay. And it means you have to do less wraps as well so you don't get so much build up. Okay. Right. And we can see I've got quite a scruffy looking fly. So how do we get from that to that? Well, what we're going to do is take it out of the vise. I'm going to comb the material through. It's easier if you do this on the bench. I'm just going to put it on the bench and give it a... Okay, basically what we want to do is to splay the material out. So it's all stuck out at 45 degrees, roughly, from the hook. And then what we're going to do, take some scissors and we're going to start trimming the fly. And we're going to keep trimming if you keep standing the material up at an angle it allows you to shape the fly. This is not something that I can show you accurately how to do because there is a little bit of a knack to, to trimming flies to the shape you want. So it's a case of trial and error and keep practicing until you start to get the right profile that you're looking for. In this case I'm looking for a, a thin slender profile. So I'm just going to keep trimming away at the material until I get somewhere close what I'm looking for. But you can see already with just a few trims it's beginning to look similar in profile to the other fly. So I'm going to keep trimming. And there you can see after just a few minutes of trimming I'm almost where I want to be with the profile. Just nice and slender nice translucent tail and a nice dense trimmed head. So the last thing to do is to apply the eyes. So put it back in the vise. I'm just 
just going to put a blob of solar res. Good size blob. Take an eye, these are 6mm silver, gold, silver scales eyes. Let's give it a zap with the torch. The Solar Res Flex is very flexible as the name suggests, which is why I like it for applying eyes. It's really sticky, soaks into the fibres well, really grips. There's less chance of you losing your eyes. Well, not your eyes, the fly's eyes. <laughs> when, um, when a fish bites on it. Another good blob of solar res. Pop the eye in place. keep trimming this for a little while until I get the absolutely perfect profile but that that isn't far off sometimes it can help having the fly in the vise just to see where you are with your trimming you want to try and blend the head into the tail. But there we have it. The finished article will look something like that with the head nicely blended into the tail. It'll give you good movement in the water and the bass absolutely love this type of fly. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions Drop me a line and um, I might put some kits together in the shop so that you can just buy what you need to tie these flies and then you can follow the video. So thanks for watching. Oh.